Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to talk about the Parker Duofold Deluxe Junior. This pen was made sometime around 1929. I've read a couple of different sources, so I don't quite know for certain if anyone does feel free to leave a comment down below. But some sources I've read said that it came out in 27. Some sources said it wasn't sold until 29. So I'm not entirely sure. The deluxe model was brought into the, the lineup by Parker in order to compete with a pen that Schaefer had released in a similar material. This is a black and pearl celluloid. And to one-up Schaefer, Parker actually incorporated real pearl essence into their material. Now, this particular model has some staining from hand oils or other things, maybe ink even. I don't, I don't know, but it's very common to see this browning happening, especially on the body. I think the cap is a little bit closer to what it would have looked like originally, although I suspect it probably has changed colors as well. This pen is almost 100 years old, so that is bound to happen. The finials at the end are ebonite, and the feed is also ebonite, as well as the grip section. The way to fill it is with a push button. So there is a blind cap in the back here, that you unscrew to reveal a little push button. I think the push buttons can be a little bit cumbersome to fill up and also to clean out. There are two things that Parker did to distinguish this deluxe model from their other pens that are shaped very similarly, the other duo folds. And one of those things is the three ring cap band. At least that's what I've read. I have seen Deluxe Parker Duo Folds for sale that don't have three rings on their cap band. And I wonder if those are not the original caps or if later in the sales they changed it around a little bit. I'm not really quite certain. But what I've read is that three rings was a sign of the Deluxe model. The nib also has stamped on it, Deluxe. I don't know if there is a difference between the Deluxe nib and the standard Duofold nib, other than that it says Deluxe. They're both 14 karat gold nibs. Parker pens are one of my favorite of the vintage fountain pens. They're just very, they're the, the most consistent pen experience I've had. Now, all of these older pens are very, the experience that you get with them, the writing experience is very unique to that individual pen because if they're made, well, any material really, but especially with gold being a soft material, it tunes to how you hold the pen and your writing style. And as these are much older, uh, there's a lot of wear that happens. And so they have very unique personalities that you don't experience in a pen made today. So in a lot of pen companies, um, I have experienced a huge uh, spectrum of pen, of writing experiences. And the Parker has been one of the most, I think, I, I guess I could say the most in my experience, my limited experience, uh, consistent in terms of how the nibs feel and how they write and how they perform. This pen probably has one of my favorite grip sections as well. It's just very comfortable to hold in my hands and I like the size of the junior. So now I would like to do a little writing sample
So where can you find a Parker Duofold Deluxe? Well, I was lucky enough to find one locally at a wonderful art shop called Saranoff that is no longer around. 2020 was a difficult year for so many business owners. You can find them on eBay. You can find them on Etsy. You can find them on Peyton Street Pens. You could probably find them on Facebook groups. I don't actually know of any because I'm not on Facebook. Instagram, vintagepens.com. I'll post a link down below to some of those online stores that I know of that sell these particular pens. Uh, but I do recommend just doing a Google search because a lot will come up that are potentially listings for pens for sale. If you don't have experience restoring a pen, then I definitely recommend either taking an even bigger leap of faith and trying restoration out on your own and getting one for really cheap or spending the extra money to have someone, a professional, do it. And it does increase the, the selling price of a pen by a lot, unfortunately. So if you can do the work yourself, you'll save a whole lot of money. But if you can't, <laughs> then you do have to pay a premium for that. And I think that's all that I wanted to say. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I will try my best to answer. Thanks for watching.